Hello guys, it's Alcor here, and today I'm going to be guiding you guys on how to do all the quests for the Rift update, which is related to the Wild Woods. All the other ones though I'll have to do in separate videos because this might take a while just to explain the Wild Woods, so yeah. Also, just before I start the questline, I would like to congratulate Aiden on winning the 10 million coin giveaway on my bizarre video. If you guys want a chance to win 10 million coins, just leave a comment down below and you'll be automatically entered. And good luck to everybody. All right, time to start the guide. Now, first things first, I'm gonna have to show you guys how to get moats and how to get cruxes because that's what you're gonna need to just start the quest because you're gonna need to purchase things during the quest. So I might as well show you guys this. So as you can see, there's there is little green guys that float around and what you want to do is hit him and whenever he does a noise just look away and then after one or two seconds look back and then start punching him again after killing him you'll get a hundred moats and you'll get one shy crux and that's all you need to know to basically just start doing the quest so yeah, if you need 4,000 moats, well, you'll need to kill 40 of those guys. If you need 8 crocs, you're going to need to go and kill 8 of the green dudes. So yeah, on screen, you guys are going to be seeing all the important coordinates to all the important NPCs. And you're probably going to want to insert this in your Skytales mod by going to Skytales, edit waypoints, and start adding them all here. The ones I'm going to be putting on screen are the important ones that you're going to need for this video. Time to start looking at how to actually do the quest now. First thing we're going to do is help out the bug hunter. So after speaking to the bug hunter, he's going to tell you to get a larva hook. You go to the bug shopper and you just go and buy one. So after getting the larva hook, you go back to the bug hunter and he's going to give you a quest to get some silk. To get some silk you'll have to go and kill all these worms around the trees with the larva hook and you'll get one silk per. After getting six go back to the bug hunter and he's going to give you a stick and then he's going to tell you to go get a bottle fill it up and uh, to come back to the bug hunter and then he's going to ask for eight more to fill these bottles you're gonna have to use the silk you got from earlier and make these little zip lines. Go on them with the stick by right clicking and then start holding the bottles while looking at these little flying dudes. After getting eight filled bottles, you wanna go back to the bug hunter and you'll finally be done. You'll get the silk rider safety belt and you can equip it as a equipment. And you can also get the surgery toolkit if you want. Now, time to talk to Sad Jekyll. You're gonna talk to Sad Jekyll and there's gonna be a chest that pops up right next to her or he, and then you want to jump down after it gives you a cat detector And then you're gonna find his dead cat. Talk to Portal. So to talk to Portal, you're gonna find him over here and then you're gonna tap him and he's gonna tell you that you're gonna have to go and find his eyes. His eye can be found at the top of the wizard portal. So if you just go to the top of the tower, then just go down with the ladders and then basically just start attacking his eye until it's dead. Fair warning, this might take a bit of time off your timer but you'll have no choice to do it. Time to talk to the three brothers. So after talking to the three brothers that are all in different locations you're going to be given a wooden sword, which is the one I have in my taskbar. Help inverted Sirius. Sirius is going to ask you to bring a stability elixir to him and to go to his local brewery. Here's a live clip. Oh, I think it is. Let's go over here. Buy the elixir. So it says Alabast. I have to buy a tip from him too. I heard the deck he knows might know who the supplier oh my god bruh he's right here 
off. I have to buy another chip. I heard that Chester might know who the supplier is. Gosh dang. Over here. Oh my god. Okay, who's laser? Oh wait, you can go upstairs. I don't see the NPC here. Is he up here? Oh my gosh. I heard Break might know who the supplier is. Okay. Oh, they, this better not give me nothing. Blake. Garla CS is the dude upstairs. I tip Farnier over here. Basically, you have to talk to every single person in the whole entire place. After talking to Fafnir, you'll go and have to find the Argofe Alchemist. And there you go, the stability elixir. Wear the wild armor set. So to do this, you'll have to go and talk to all the traffickers and they will all give you piece of sets that you'll have to buy with moats. Wear Enigma's cloak. To find Enigma's cloak, you're at spawn, you jump down and you just look for Enigma and there he is. And he will sell you the Enigma cloak. Crafting the Crux Talisman. Put 8 Crux inside of a menu and there you go. I, the Intruder. So you already have this if you already did the porthole, and if you already did the portal quest, so yeah, don't need to do that. And this quest you can't even do because it's not even out yet. Montezuma's first is the dead cat from earlier from Jaquel, so that's already done. Reed's boat Parfa glue, you're gonna have to find a larva hook, or get a larva hook, and then you're gonna want to go and get 16 silk. After getting 16 silk, go in the water near this area and start killing the lagoons that basically come out of the water. After that, you'll get some lily pads and you're gonna want to place them below you while running towards the area in front of you. Just like a little fishing place. After that, you want to go and talk to Reed. Give him the silk and there you go, finished. Enigma souls. There's nine of these, so let's start. At the spawn, there's one. For the second one, you're going to want to kill these wolves that are near spawn and get 20 of their mutated barks. After killing 20 of these guys, take the mutated bark and hit that specific part of the tree and there you go. For the third one, you're going to want to tap this ghost and keep on tapping it and it's going to lead you to the third one. For the fourth one, you're going to want to hit these flower pots and follow along the flower pots. After you're done with this one, you're going to want to look behind you, go down in the water, hit it, and it's going to appear just next to it. For this one, you're going to want to find the teleport pads and just jump up and hit it. For this one, you're going to want to hit the skull and then basically just look at the tree and it should appear. For this one, you're going to want to jump up with a jump pad, go to Jaquel. Look downwards. And fall into the hole down below. 
then you're gonna find one hidden down below this hole. With some silk, you're gonna want to make a big zip wire zip line across and you're gonna want to basically hit this glass near the top of the trees and after breaking the glass with the stick you're gonna be able to access it. For this one you're gonna have to get two players and step on the pressure plates. If you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This video took me over 10 hours to make so hopefully this helped and see you guys next time. See ya.